have to be mature enough and ready to transit. And then all of a sudden, right in these moments of transition that you're going to die, you start to see the meaning of life. You start to understand it because there's no longer this idea that you're separated and there's no longer this fear and this thing that's been lingering around trying to hang on to dear life to the very last moments of it is there. So now you're right open, wide open, completely surrendered and it gives you a chance to go through this transition consciously, completely conscious and aware, instead of being in this place of fear of trying to hang on to something, you're com com completely conscious in meditation that now the body is going to fall it's going to die. It's the death of the body. It's the caterpillar losing its skin and its old shell for the butterfly to come out of it. So that's how I see it. And that's beautiful. And I can't wait in some ways. I mean, I can. But it's something to look forward to, not something to be afraid of, of this transition. And that's where we've been brainwashed and conditioned to be so frightened of it and really not celebrating it, not cherishing it, not welcoming. I'm not saying we're rushed there to say, okay, I'm just going to shoot myself because I want to go to this thing. No, I'm going to enjoy every moment I have in this life fully and be present with its ups and downs. But I also welcome the transition of the next level. And quite often it's in our culture and it's, on, it's sort of in the human psyche that we are afraid of what we don't know. And we always want to destroy and kill things we don't know and opposing it rather than being open to exploring it. And that's, you know, it's, it's happening every day. You know, it, it's happening with our religion. It happens in cultures. Um, whenever something new with the ideas, let's say the moment that um, any scientist or any astrologers or any phys physicist or any physicians, they come up with something new, they're always meeting resistance of the opposition because they're afraid of this new idea. You know, like like when they came up and they say the planet Earth is round or it's or it's turning around the sun instead of the sun's turning around it uh, or the idea of hell uh, or heaven. You know, whenever you come up with a brand new idea, you're going to meet opposition and you're being suppressed because it's something new. And people don't know about it and they're afraid of it. And so when you're afraid of something you don't know, the best is to destroy it. Let's kill it. Because I'm afraid of it. Because I don't know anything about it. Also, when I look at the description of the different religions and different cultures like all right in the western mind or in some uh parts of the world that we're referring to life after death is being defined uh by your deeds and you can go to heaven or hell which is being teach 
by some religions, and then you go to some of the Eastern religions like Buddhism or Hinduism, and they're talking about that there is karma and there is reincarnation and you will be coming back to life again and renewing your life and you're going to be living in uh, uh, and you may have been doing it you know like thousands of times Re you have reincarnated thousands of times okay so now they also say that when you're reincarnating, coming back, all your memory is wiped out. So, okay, so let's, for example, we're talking with each other and some of us that we have expanded, we have opened up and now we're open to Eastern philosophy, ideology, mythology, religions of the way they're thinking we believe that we have had past lives and some of us we say okay i remember this past life or that past life now let's look at this in this way is that you have had past lives now you're you die and you're going to be reborn and as you're reborn uh your entire memory is wiped out Okay, so if all of your memory is wiped out and you're being reborn, well, how do you know you're being reborn? How do you know it's not someone new is being born? Because you don't remember any of it. Have you ever thought about that? You're coming back, supposedly, and there is no memory. Well, if there's no memory, then how do you know? How do you know you were here? And what difference does it make? If you can't remember what your past life or lives were, what difference does it make if you're someone new being born for the first time or you're an old soul and you've been around so many times? It won't make any difference. You know, who cares? What's really important that we're here. And of course, it is important. These questions are important. I'm not saying they're not important. And I'm not saying it's not coming up for anybody. We all have thought about it and think about it, whether we think about it from a place of no fear or fear. But what is it going to do to me in this moment? Is it going to add or it's going to take away from me? What's going to do to me? Is it going to make me want to live more or less? Is it going to make me experience less or experience more. And let's say hypothetically, if you're born and you have your memories of past life, let's say you bring those memories with you, okay? Do you think it's gonna be fun to bring your memories from past life with you? I mean, think about the traumas that you've gone through and some of you and some of my viewers and they're using they're going through trying to get over the em emotional traumas for 50 years 